That's why I lay down my life to make room for you. Lord, I want more, more of you. Amen. It is seated. Thank you very much indeed. I'm so happy to have my family here tonight with me and my joy to be here at this Bapticosta Church. Did you hear me? Bapticosta Church. Once a quiet church, but now a living church. Somebody say hallelujah. God is here tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Aha! Uh -huh. Hallelujah! Thank God! Thank God! Thank God! Thank God! Hallelujah! Holy Spirit is here tonight. We met with Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are here in your holy power. Bless your people. Touch them in every area of their life need, and glorify yourself tonight. The hour has come. You glorify your son. That your son might glorify you. Bless the pastor, his wife. Bless this ministry. Let it truly be. New way. New way. New way. New way. New way of living for the people. That's my prayer and my expectation. And I thank you for it. In Jesus name. Every child of God say amen. Amen. Thank you very much, bro. Okay, that's enough. Thanks. Thank you. How would you feel if quietly in your house, no one knew you, you've never made noise in the city, and one night, you have a visitor, and he says, I'm sent by God. To give you a new direction. How will you feel if you are struggling to buy two loaves of bread and a little can of sardine to feed your wife and God says, Build me a big church? How will you feel if? You were in the midst of many people who were rich and wealthy and known. And God called you and said, you're going to be king over the people that are known. And you are known. I finally discovered that God can take a man from the inferior to make him superior. To glorify his name. Many times. The three people in the front here know. The way I read my Bible is a bit different. It has nothing to do with occasion. And situation. I go to what the Holy Spirit asked me to do. Inside the aircraft. From Denver. This afternoon. I was meditating. And God told me what to tell you tonight. Don't write God's unexpected action out of your life. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Don't. Just in case you've laid out your life, this is going to be, I'm going to be a lawyer, I'm going to be a teacher, I'm going to be a doctor. Say it if God permit me. Because you may find that you are reading law to read the Bible. And you have nothing to do. No protest that God will say, Oh yes, because of you appealed. Now nah, I call you back to law. It's too late. Look at the book of Luke's, Luke's gospel tonight. Luke chapter 1. It starts from... Starting from verse 26, Luke chapter 1, 
If you don't know where to find Luke, just look. Verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin as opposed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail! Thou that are highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. When she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. I want to start by this introduction. Here is a girl, probably between the age of 18 and 24. Never before found herself in controversy. Never before found herself in trouble. But here is a man, here came an angel, who we cannot call human being, but God's agent, knocking at her door and said, Excuse me, Mary, I have a message for you. What's the message? God says, I should tell you, you are highly favored among all women. I believe Mary must have said, do you know where you are? This is the wrong address. Or did you say God said what? I am highly favored. Can you say that everybody? By God. If it is favor, you can't improve on it. You may improve on your skill. You may improve on your intelligence. You may improve on your intellectual approach. But if God favor you, you can't improve on it. Thou was cured. She was so unknown that the Bible had to describe whom she is. Nobody ever heard of her before. Suddenly, by God's divine intervention, she is told, among all women on earth, you are going to make a difference. Now how did she, how did, because, and this is what my prayer is for this country, in particular, America and any other civilized nation when you will not turn God's appearance to your personal method she did say I knew before I was expecting it I worked so hard for it I'm not sure you heard what I said she didn't say this is what I've been waiting for She was humble. Who am I? When God wants to lift you, it doesn't matter where you are. Instead of Mary jumping to the sky, say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Bible says she was true. She was troubled at this saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. Verse 30. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Somebody shout hallelujah. I believe there are many of us here tonight whose Creation have not been revealed why you were made. This man was once a police. 
in this city. This woman is trained as a lawyer. They are not using their training. Why? Favor. Favor. Sometimes you build your life in such a way you so know it to be. And God allow you to go ahead. He will not disturb you. Say, go. When you finish, whatever I want to do with you, I'm not going to seek your permission. That's what I just told them in the office. God never asked you, do you want to follow me? No. He doesn't say, are you ready for tomorrow? I'm coming back tomorrow. No. He said, get up. Follow me. Before you say, excuse me, sir, I said, shut your mouth. Move quickly. Angel Gabriel, what are you saying? The man said, don't argue with me. This is God's favor. You didn't work for it. You didn't merit it. God chose it. I'm just sent to tell you. Can somebody say amen? amen? God wants to do for you what you never expected. And if you believe what I'm here to tell you tonight, watch your life from tomorrow. It will take a new turn. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? It doesn't matter where you have been, how bad or terrible, how good or terrific. Something more than your life demand is coming your way. And it's the favor of God. When God called me, Dr. Isaiah, you heard that from me several times. He said, son, follow me. I'm going to take you around the world. I laughed. I laughed. I said, son, take me around where? The world. And I have never been stupid in my life. I use my intelligence to ask God questions. I said, do you know who you're talking to? He said, yes. I said, you want to do what with me? He said, I want to use you. I want to take you around the world. You're going to preach my gospel. I said, you missed the home address. I've never seen you use a black man for the ministry. Ora Robert, white. Billy Graham, white. T.L. Osborne, white. Why do you want to lie to me? <laughs> I said, all the men I know who are useful in the kingdom, they are all white. What are you talking to a black man like me? And the Lord said to me, are you black? I said, yes. He said, I didn't know. <laughs> 32 years ago, God told me he didn't know I was black. I said, oh, fine. Don't wonder why we are suffering like this. You didn't even know that a black man existed. That's why we are suffering. He said, that's not what I said. I'm saying that I didn't know you are black. I said, why didn't you know? He said, because I never made a black man. I said, you see, you worsen it. You worsen the whole situation. You never made a black man. So you only made white. He said, I didn't say so. I said, look at the world. Look at the whole world. Name one black man you use. I said, look, look around your church on earth. He said, those people you are calling now, they are in the church. They are not in me. If they were in me, they would have seen me than their skin. I said, but look at T.L. Osborne, white. Or a robot, white. Billy Graham, white. He said, I didn't create a white man. So I said, whom did you make? He said, I only made people in my image and likeness. <laughs> 32 years ago, I changed my color from black and white. I became a child of God. <laughs> so when you ask me, where are you from? Made in heaven. Assembled in Africa and dispatched to my generation. You can pride yourself in your American native. You can pride yourself in your African native. 
But I'm made in heaven as I'm born in Africa and this part of my generation. And he said, I'm going to take you around the world. I said, yes, sir. I sat home. Years. Preach from village to village. Preach from village to village. These ones were youths in those days. I was preaching from one village to the other. 25 years ago, he said, I'm ready to take you now. I said, to where? I know you don't lie to where. I've already known you now, but you don't lie to where? He said, I'm going to send you abroad. One morning, February 1961. The late God in Lindsay was in Mount Olives in Israel. And God told him, go to Africa, pick a man, and take him with you to America. From Mount Olives. Never known my name, never saw me before. He flew from Israel to London, London to Lagos, Nigeria, and asked for a missionary called Elton. He said, God woke me up and said, I should go and look for a man called Benson Idahosa. He sought for me. The next day they found me. He said, God told me, Mantoli, two days ago to take you with me and bring you back to do the work I sent you to do. Favor. The day you will realize that it's not your skill, it's not your might, it's not your power. But your God, your prayer will change. That man took me to America, brought me here, gave me scholarship of everything, books, housing, everything. And he said to me, Benson, anything you buy in any store in America, send the receipt to my office. They give you the money back. And guess what? I bought You don't tempt me with good things. <laughs> I hear sales in Kmart suit in those days, 25 years ago, seven dollars for a suit. I buy five. I go to the office on Monday, they give me the money. I came to America with one ton suitcase. I left here with 13 suitcases. Bible filled six, tracks filled four. Close for the rest. And the Lord said, from now, go ahead. By one, by one, by one. From one church to two, to three, to four, to five, to one thousand, to two thousand, to more. From twelve souls, to hundred souls, to half a million souls, to one million souls. Today, to God be the glory. How many millions? I don't know. Favor. How do we become doers of the impossible? Look at the answer. The angel said unto her, Fear not Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. Hallelujah. God wants some men to be pregnant tonight, not just women. Conceive something in your heart. Conceive something in your belly. Conceive something in your head. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Oh, Maraca Sokolo. Yeah, yes. In your womb, something want to spring up. Something want to shoot up. Something want to come out. God wants to put what was not there, there. So that you can say God did it. And somebody say amen. amen. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb. And bear a son. Call him Jesus. He shall be great. Somebody say amen. amen. And what God wants to put in your belly and your heart tonight shall be great. I wish somebody could say amen to that. Amen. I hope you are aware I'm prophesying on you tonight. Jesus. You don't need to pay me hundred dollars to hear me prophesy. I'm not a commercial prophet. I'm a servant of the living God. You don't need to attend prophet's conference to hear what God is saying. That's where some of you are missing it. Say, prophets are coming to town. All of us are going. Prophet, prophet. 
Tell me what God, tell, tell, tell me something. <laughs> you need plain truth. Truth will make you free. You don't need liars to tell lie over your head. And you say, prophet said. Two years ago, one of our daughters in the ministry said, Papa, I want to marry. I said, don't. She said, a prophet told me, God is going to give me double for my trouble. I said, you are going to get double trouble. She said, prophet. I said, prophet didn't tell you anything. Make effort to reconcile with your husband. No, no, no. Prophet said, I said, don't go by prophet. No marriage should come by prophecy. Marriage should come by looking. Look at the life of the man. Is he a godly man? Does he know Jesus? She said, but the prophet, I said, if you marry her, him, you will regret. She went ahead. Eight months later, he broke. And we are counting how many times she has married. Because prophet said. She called me, Papa, I've left my man. I said, what happened? I said, you got double for your trouble. Because you refused to listen. If God will appear to you, devil will disappear from you. He shall be great. Say with me, I'm expecting a great thing. Say it louder. Say it louder. Oh, Lord. Verse 34. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be? Seeing that I know no man. You know, whenever we want to do great things, we are looking for a man. How will this impossible be? How can this big vision be actualized? Take you there just now. The dream that is beyond my income and above my salary and above my education, how can it be? God is troubling me. And you know God never gives bad trouble. He never put you to bad trouble. Ever. Every time God tells me to do something, I tell this my family. God said, do this. In my country, doctors are pay, professors in university. He's in university here. Professor in my country pay $220 a month. That's what they receive. That's what they are paid every 30 days. Professor, doctor, $200. And God said, build me a big church, 20, $10 million. How are you going to build that? Unless you hear God say it. Build me a school. Five million. Build me this. One stupid thing I've been so used to now. When God says it, he will do it. I'm so foolish that I don't ask questions. If that's what you say. Last year he said to me, last June. He said, start a university. I just got a check from you. I gave to the school. And I had $212 left. Out of the money you sent to me. I said, start the university. Now is the time. I took the money. I said, did you see the figure? You look at it. It's not hamburger. You're talking of university. I said, let my hand touch it. Be so foolish to show God how lazy you are. Don't tell him you are clever. I said, 212, you want to start university? Say, yeah, start it. If you start it, I'll do it. I didn't tell you to build me a church. I said, I will build my church. If you initiate it, I will inaugurate it. That's what God took me. I started. Now, 
have dormitory for students. Now, we have 300 students in the university. In Africa. How shall this be? Say that to everybody. I didn't hear you, please. Now, say it one more time. Try it one more time. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost, Obama Zokotomo, <laughs> shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest, somebody say highest, Say highest power. Say highest power. That's what you need. How do I do what I'm afraid to do? Hook yourself. I say, hey, what are you doing? I'm plugged to highest power. Hallelujah. When do you want to build a big church? Did he fail Joshua? No. Did he fail Amos? No. Did he fail Isaiah? No. Is he going to start with you? No. How do I do what I'm afraid to do? Connect yourself to the power of the highest. I don't have money. Shut up. I know no man. Shut up. I don't know the mayor. Shh, 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 shh. My church is small. Keep quiet. The offering cannot pay the bill. Shut your mouth, please. What should I do? Connect your life to the power of the highest. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. How do I become a possibilitarian? By linking myself to the God with whom all things are possible. If you are a pastor, raise your hand and say hallelujah. hallelujah. You can go to any gathering of shepherds, roll on the floor, laugh till tomorrow, die till tomorrow, vomit till tomorrow, shake till tomorrow. Shaking will not do it. If God has not spoken, when you finish exercising your flesh, go home and take a shower and sleep. Because what many of you are doing today is that I want to go to where people are laughing. Amen. I want to go to where people are falling. Amen. I want to go and... No. No. You can roll your head on the tired road. If God said nothing, nothing will change. Unknown, Mary. Unknown. Unknown. And God wants to start to use the unknown to be known. Say, that's me. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. That's me. God wants to start to knock at the door of people who know nobody. How can this be? The power of the highest. You have been associating with low people. Go to the highest. You've been associating with the bank. Every time you ask bank for a loan, they ask you to bring your grandfather and he's dead. <laughs> shall overshadow thee. Therefore also, that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. You know what this is telling me? The next event in your life is going to be godly. Is anybody hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You tried your human being sense. You say from now, everything that happened to you will happen according to the grace of God. Yeah. Can I hear you say amen for that? Yeah. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Verse 36. And behold thy cousin Elizabeth. She also, she had also conceived a son in her own age. This is the sixth month with her who was called barren. That's what you need to. That's what you need to hook your life to. Those who wear nothing that become something. Don't run after people who used to be who are no more. You don't need it. You don't need it. Actually, I told my executive assistant, I said, when you are introducing me to any ministry in America, don't send my profile. Don't send my CV. What are they going to know about me? And this and this and that and that. Haven't said all. Oh, is that what I came to preach? I want to be a doer than a sayer. I want my word to speak for me. I want God to stand for me. And I hear you say amen. amen. I'm, one, I'm one of the fifth most used human being on earth today. And I'm the most traveled human being on earth today. Today, 134 nations. Last year I did 1,164,000 miles for the gospel. But that's not what brought me here tonight. I have a little church at home. That looks like this. Small church. In my city alone, we have 114 churches now of the same ministry. So instead of holding 10 services on Sunday, I hold 114 in 114 locations. So I can save my strength. Keep it. Point of contact. <laughs> Listen to this. Oh Lord, I don't want your husband to accuse me again. Look at these words. Thy cousin Elizabeth. She had also conceived a son in her old age. Let me tell you what God told me this about this, Dr. Isaiah. Look for someone whom life was against, but now life is in his favor. Relate. Relate. Find someone who, out of the dustbin, got promoted to the sky. Find someone whom, this time last year, his church was 50 people. This year, he's 500 people. Not the man who said, when I was in Tulsa, when I was in Dallas, when I was in Miami, when I was in Florida, when I was in California, God used to. You don't need the God that used to. In those days, when I used to raise the dead. Mm -mm. If God isn't, he wasn't. Six months pregnant, who was called barren. I pray that each of you will stop looking at your yesterday and start to believe God of tomorrow. Amen. Somebody tap your right leg, say, Amen, Lord. Amen. Because every time you look at your past life, it's so ugly, you don't want to remember it. Six months old, six months pregnant. For with God, somebody say that. God. Say it again. God. Nothing, shall be Nothing shall be impossible. Is that in your Bible? Yes. Now say it with me. I'm with God. I'm with God. From, now, From now, everything, everything shall, shall be, be possible, possible with yes. me. Yes. For I, For I and, God and God have become, have become unbeatable. unbeatable team.
verse 38. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. I love this. Be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Somebody say amen. amen. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how it will be done. I don't know how it will start. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But oh God. Oh God. Just as you have said. I stop. I stop stress. Now I live by your strength. When you stop struggling, you start strengthening. When you start, stop attending the conference of the rich people, and begin to find where God is moving, God will talk to you. That's why you are here tonight. It's not a Sunday. God's supposed not to be talking on a bad day, but he's talking to you now. He's telling you the best is yet to come. Say yes. Why did he bring you here? He wants to pregnate you by himself. You try the ideas and the skill of those who tell you how to do it who have never done it. That's the biggest problem you can find yourself. When you become a student of a don't know how to do, but teaching you how to do. The man says, I'm an evangelist. The reason I'm an evangelist is because I'm an evangelist. Ask him, did you pastor once? Yes. First church failed. Second church failed. Third church failed. So what is the most successful way? Evangelist. I'm a financial expert. I'll teach you how to make ten dollars to one million were you a pastor before yes how many churches did you build i didn't build that's not the man you need find who wasn't who is now is look at the next verse verse 39 and mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Judah. When God talked to you, stop looking for more talking. Yeah. Unction, not actioned, is auctioned. Good English. Revelation not used is lost. If God gives you unction and you don't auction it, you auction it. You know auction? To sell for sale, free. When God talked to you, mommy, don't go to Chicago to find out what he said. He knew where you needed to hear it. And this is the night. You don't need to go to New York. Put your hand here. Tell me what God says. Mm -mm. If you said it, He said it. If He didn't say it, two million prophets can tell you what God didn't say. When you finish, you come back to zero. Because God didn't say it. Mary arose immediately. Say that to everybody. And went to Judah. She arose and went to Judah. God is telling you tonight relocate from your frustration. Get up. Start to do what everybody thinks is impossible. When I came here this evening, you'll, you'll be glad to hear this, Dr. Isaiah. The people that brought me, when they saw there was nobody here, they suggested to me, let's go home, we'll come back. I agreed. But when I saw her, I said, no, 
I will encourage her by staying. Let me stay. And not five minutes after I say, let me stay, my children came. Pride tells you, who do you say I should come and preach to? God tells you, one is enough. She arose, said, I'm go say, I'm going to rise. Say it louder. Say, I'm going to move to do what God is saying to me right now. And entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Whom do you visit when God talks to you? Who is your Elizabeth? Is your example that what you want to be, that person has been it. Hear my English. Hear my, I don't want to confuse anything. Who do you visit when God unveils something to you? Don't look for barren, look for pregnant person. Look for Elizabeth, who, when you get to her house, what you have been trying to find out, she's a proof. Elizabeth is a proof that with God, all things are possible. Elizabeth is a proof that barren can conceive. Elizabeth is a proof that poverty can be changed. Elizabeth is a proof that darkness can turn to light. Elizabeth is a proof that the weak can be made strong. Somebody say yes. Who is your Elizabeth? You pastors, find a man like this, visit his ministry. Don't go to preach, go and listen. Don't ask for microphone. Ask for hearing phone. <laughs> find out. 35 years ago, I started preaching 36 years and 4 months ago as an amateur. When God called me, 1961, T.L. Osborne wrote me. I wrote him a letter for tracks and others, and he wrote me back with hand. Just two small sheets. Dear Brother Benson, now that God has called you, if there's anything I can do to help you, let me know. I will stand by you. Every month, I started writing for tracks, for Bible, for literatures. I devoured them for his tapes. I began to pattern my life after T.L. Osborne. Nine years ago, he's come to Nigeria several times, but when he came nine years ago, before the last trip, he said, Benson, you've done ten times more than what I did. Why do you still call me your father? I said, because age and experience you cannot buy with growth. He's been to 76 countries. I've been to 134. I still went to him last week to kneel and say, pray for me. He said, I need your prayer. I said, no, father is father. No matter how grown you are, a child is not a father. No matter how blessed you are. He cried on my shoulder. I told him of the university. I told him of the schools. I told him of everything happening. Because when I became a pastor in our ministry, the highest salary they paid me was $6 a month. And husband was sending me 10 extra. And those 10 extra, I hired three evangelists. I gave them three, three dollars a month. Today, I'm whom I am by God's favor. But I remember where I'm coming from. Yeah. Every book I write now, I brought you a new book that just came out of press last Friday. Four facts that changed me. Husband picked me from unknown to make me known. It's your real model. Who are you patterning your life after? Are you following those who... Yo, 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 Are you not in the country you have seen the mighty become nothing? Why can't you look for Elizabeth? Mary went to look for Elizabeth. Who is your Elizabeth? Who 
whose pregnancy sees you and the baby lift. You need a lifter. Because if you are not moving with inspire, you so aspire. You don't need you don't need aspirers. You need an inspirer. Yeah. You don't need a man who say thirty years ago when God used to use me. You don't need that. You need a man when you stand before him, the baby in you. Oh, oh. show up my heart, son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's whom you need. Find someone in this world whose faith can kick your faith. Find someone. Whenever you see him, once a year, once in three years, once in four months, once in three months, that's my father. Who by God's grace is still holding on. Tears says, son, why have you not forgotten me for 35 years? He just wrote me a letter. Why have you not forgotten me for 35 years? I said, if I forget you now, the children and beard will forget me. It's a seed. If you say, look at me, mighty man of valor. Husband used to be my friend when I was small. But look at me now. Hallelujah. <laughs> God will say, when you finish, sit down. Pride, go ahead before fall. No matter how God lifts you up, stay there. Every day of your life, look for Elizabeth. Look for Elizabeth. Elizabeth is an example that God has not changed. Elizabeth is an example that God is still good. Elizabeth is an example, no matter how long you stay in barrenness, you will conceive. Elizabeth is an example that yesterday may be rough, today will be neat. Elizabeth is an example that God has not forsaken his own people. Elizabeth is an example that with God all things are possible. Stand to your feet. Do you have an oil here? You have an oil? Oil, anointing oil. Dr. Isaiah, can somebody join you? Take this thing away. I didn't come. I didn't come for miracle. I come for God's power upon your life. Whatever you call it, that's your business. But I'm here to hear, for you to hear what you've heard tonight. It's time for you to conceive the impossible. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I took my son just now. I said, I heard the building is finished. I said, that's phase one. Phase one. Be great. But that's phase one. That's phase one. God wants to do for you what no man can do. And I want to anoint your hand tonight. I want to do it lightly. Lastly. So the last three nights, everybody I touched fell. So I've told God, when I come tonight, nobody will fall. Just take the oil from my hand. Tomorrow night, you see the power of God manifested here. I want to anoint you for remembrance. So you say, he put oil in my hand. I touched my head. I went home. My dream changed. That's what I want to do for you. One by one, pastor and his wife come here. Touch my hand. Let your husband first. I touch you with anointing. New day in Jesus' name. I touch you with anointing. For a new day in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Receive. I touch you with the hand of God. Fresh anointing, new revelation, new power. In the name of Jesus, I touch you with the hand of God. With this anointing, the dawning of a new day. In Jesus' name, receive. Come on, pastors. Touch my hand. Receive. In Jesus' name, receive. Name of Jesus, I touch you with the power of God. I take every inferiority and every complex of the enemy from your life. Receive a new one, fresh anointing in the name of Jesus. Do you touch me? I touch your hand with power. I touch your hand with God. 
I touch your hand in the name of Jesus. Your heart desire be granted. The name of the Lord be exalted. I touch your hand. That which you have cried before God for. That which looks as if the door closed. Tonight we open it. By this anointing, yokes are destroyed. And the name of the Lord is magnified. I anoint you in Jesus' name. Who next? Anoint your hand. Please use that hand to touch your forehead, everyone that I've touched. In the name of Jesus. I touch you with breakthrough. I touch you with breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Hurry up, the rest of you. Hurry up. Hurry up one by one. Just touch it and pass. Take the anointing in the name of Jesus. I touch you with miracle. I touch you with his miracle. I touch you with his miracle. I touch you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. I touch your hand with miracle. Touch it with miracle. Anoint your hand for breakthrough. Anoint you with signs and wonders and great result. In the name of Jesus. Receive. Receive. In the name of Jesus. I bless your hand. I bless your labor. I bless your effort. I command you to be blessed. I command you to be blessed. In Jesus' name, receive the flow of the Holy Spirit. I touch you with the breakthrough. In Jesus' name, receive. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In Jesus' name, I touch you with miracle. You need a miracle. In Jesus' name name of Jesus I touch your hand with miracle I touch your body with healing in Jesus name in Jesus name in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus sing it out in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name strength to your body in the name of Jesus receive Receive. The Holy Ghost. Sing it out. Let it fall Jesus, on me. Oh, anointing. Fall. Fall on me. In the name of Jesus. Follow oh, 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 Follow me, oh, anointing. Follow me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost, let it fall. Follow me, oh, anointing. Follow, follow me. Be healed, be healed in the name of Jesus. Loose him, freedom and deliverance tonight. Body be loosed. Let it fall on me. Let it fall, let it fall on me, let the power, the Holy Ghost, let it fall on me, hey, anointing, fall, fall. Let it begin to fall, fall on me, Lord, let your anointing, let your anointing, let it fall, 
Let it fall on me. Let the power, the Holy Ghost, let it fall. Let it fall on me. Oh, let the power of the Holy Ghost. Let I go. Let it fall. Leave her, leave her, leave her. Hey, hey, let the power of let him go. Let him go. The Holy, the Holy Ghost, let it fall. Hey, hey, Lord, let the power the Holy Ghost. Hey, oh, 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 on me anointing on me anointing let it fall Let it fall. Hey, hey. We need the power. Right now, let it fall. Let it fall. Hey, hey. Let the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall on me. Hey, let the power, your power, your Shekinah glory, right now, right now, right now, right now. Hey, let the power, the Holy Ghost, let the power. Oh, 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 let the power, let the power, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. let it fall, let it fall. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. We need the Holy, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Holy Ghost, I want the power. The power of the, the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Let it fall. Let, let it fall. Yeah. I want the Holy Ghost. 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 We need 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 your power. We need your power. We need your power. We need your power. Let it fall. 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 Hey, let the power of the Holy Ghost fall. Fall on me, oh Lord, let the power of the Holy Ghost 
your hands up everyone say thank you Jesus open your mouth thank you give God thanks give God thanks give God thanks give God thanks for freedom and liberty give him thanks for freedom give him thanks for setting you free for setting you free give him thanks give him thanks give him thanks thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord worship him Worship him, worship him, worship him. The spirit of barrenness is removed, the power of fear is removed. You are loose in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Body, soul, and spirit, I set your people free. 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 But when the Son of Man set you free, you are free indeed. Thank you, Lord. 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 Open your mouth and give him glory. Open your mouth and give him glory. Say hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give the Lord a shout of hallelujah. Give him a shout. A shout! Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 For you have said in your heart. How long will it take God to visit me? Tonight I have not only visited you. I'm unveiling my glory that you cannot escape. My hands shall do that which you cry to me about. Even with trial and tribulation. That I brought you through. I've stood by you. That I may use you. 
says God. Please be seated. Please be seated. Please be seated. I'm only going to give you three suggestions before. Number one, God does not need to notify you before he gives you direction. That's exactly what he did tonight. He didn't tell you what he wants to do. No. But he has done what he has chosen to do. If you accept it, that this is what you have been waiting for. To hear from God. This time next year. Your life will be a new story altogether. To the glory of God. To the glory of God. Every normal child. Takes nine months to be born. Tonight. God is going to impregnate you with idea. Vision and dream. Don't abort it. Be willing for God to let it come to pass. How many can say amen to that? Amen. I bless you. I thank God for the opportunity to tell you what God told me to tell you. You are going to look for Elizabeth. All those your friends, there are some friends you don't need in your life. They are there. They are there. Their lives are not every time they tell you tragic stories dissociate and discontinue maybe until you get to my age where you can say like Paul by Christ's help I can do all things but until you get to that age anything that will soil you and put you down cut away from it are you hearing what I'm saying some of those your friends when they hear you buy a new car they are angry stop visiting them Anybody you give testimony and your testimony become an offense, plead with him to allow you to go on your own. Hold your ear, say, I hear you. Holy, say, I hear you. I hear you. It's not everybody God made to be your friend, especially if their life is not like your life. Do you hear what I'm saying? I told people in California two days ago. I said, you say, Papa, why do you tolerate sinners like this? I said, because by years of experience, I've found that no man's sin can stain the name of God. No. It doesn't matter what you do. You only destroy yourself, not God. So I said, that's why I tolerate them, because I have to be it. I just said, I'm not your, I'm like Jesus. Go and sin no more. If you hear it, You'll be free. If you stay in it, it will kill you. But those are your friends who have no motivation, nothing in them circulating, nothing in them rising up, uh -uh. your life changed from tonight. Are you hear what I'm saying? Don't hate them, but don't be like them anymore. Because there's something bad in you tonight. God has put something inside you. No man will destroy it. I bless you. July 1st, God is giving you a new meaning to your life. Will you do one more thing for me before you sit down? Stand to your feet. Turn around twice. Say, God is giving me a turn around. One more time. The Lord is giving me a turn around. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. A new turnaround in your life. Amen. Amen.